Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome in Mizian, a cafe located in Beirut, Hamra, for a discussion on Syrian culture in times of conflict. I would like to salute as well our dear friends by means of Hapur Nation who are following us on Webstream. This company, which is one of the pioneer companies that are interested with Webstream in um, in the meetings held in Beirut and Lebanon. Today's discussion is pertaining to support and the funding provided to Syrian arts and culture. We have with us many personalities. Before I present them, my name is Reem Al Maghribi. I am the chair of a company called Shark has been working for the past 10 years in uh, the UK and that has moved to Lebanon and we are working on media and culture development. Of course, um, we um, are for the time being uh, showing interest to uh, Syrian artists. This uh, project is funded by the um, Swedish Institute and today's debate is actually a second out of a series of um, debates that will take place over a year and that are related to the Syrian culture in times of conflict. We hope that you share with us and that you follow us on Facebook um, to have um, more information on our debates. Allow me first to to our three main points, um, after which we shall listen to their ideas, to their opinion, on the funding and the support that is given to Syrian um, artists um, and then we open the floor for questions and uh, and we open the floor for a debate as well. Mrs. Rasha Salah who works um, in the Arab Fund and Culture, AFAQ, she has already worked at um, the UN organization she worked with the EU and with many international organizations active in Lebanon. She works, um, she works uh, in the media and she studied anthropology as well as socio-economic uh, She um, has written a book that is related to the reality, the needs um, of um, Palestinian refugees in Lebanon. She prepared as well a documentary titled Palestinian Women whose piece is for We have as well Rahm Mardini, who is uh, the founder um, and um, who is in charge um, of the uh, art science in LA. She's been working back in, uh, since uh, 2012 uh, to support Syrian artists and uh, to exhibit um, their works um, throughout the world. She was born in Syria. She studied and she taught um, design and engineering in the Damascus University. Later on, she um, restored several houses in Damascus. Um, and when she moved um, to Beirut, to Lebanon, she restored a horse stable in LA. And it is this horse stable that is now um, hosting um, Syrian artists to support them. Last but not least, uh, Mr. Roger Asaf, who is well known to you. He important playwriters and directors in Lebanon and the Arab world. He was the host of many um, uh, theater houses throughout the world, given um, an avant-garde style, a new style. He founded the Shams Association along with Mrs. Hanan Haj Ali in year 1997. And on this stage, um, um, he offered um, um, the sunflower or um, Dawar Shams, uh, some musicals uh, that were um, actually hosting um, independent Syrian artists over a month, um, those Syrian artists that come from the Arab world um, and from the region. We shall start with Russia. What is your point of view regarding the matter beforehand? So you can speak for seven minutes. Hey, my name is Rasha Salah. I am the grants manager of the Arab Fund for Arts and Culture, AFAQ. Thank you, Reem, and thank you for this um, very interesting uh, series of debates um, that are very important uh, for Syrian culture. For me, it is um, an indirect archiving of what's going on and what has been going on 
for the past couple of years. Unfortunately, I cannot only speak of Syrian arts because as an Arab fund for arts, we have back in 2007 and looking at your faces I believe that many of you know Afak this is why I shall not um, speak of it um, again it's actually an initiative composed of uh, volunteers of uh, businessmen and women who are interested in culture and who decided in 2006 to establish that is uh, dealing with arts and, and culture and that is supporting Arab um, artists whoever they may be and wherever they may be. It is um, actually based or due to the fact that we do not have um, ministries um, for culture um, to the lack of support for Arab um, artists. This initiative that started in 2006 um, has led to the establishment of the fund in 2007, which is chaired by Dr. Ghassan Salami, who was a former Minister of Culture, along with many Arab um, personalities and officials um, who had the same concern, which is uh, to support Arab um, um, artists. So this is in brief an introduction to AFAQ. If I am to speak of um, art and the support to Arab um, artists, um, I tell you that the idea of the Arab Fund was actually meant um, uh, to support Arab independent um, art. Um, this is why we tried as much as possible to um, do something different to what ministers and ministries of culture usually do, to try to either maintain the patrimony, um, and this is actually the duty of the Ministry of uh, Culture. Nevertheless, I would like to mention that uh, Arab artists being in different they are producing art that needs to be supported. We um, have temporary art that needs to be uh, sustained and maintained. Uh, unfortunately, um, it is not acclaimed by ministries. We have the hip hop, we have um, uh, the um, avant garde cinema, we have um, um, this uh, type of art that is not supported by the ministries of culture, hence, the lack of support. Therefore, the, uh, therefore, Afak um, saw the light, and I could see the extent to which Arab artists are um, claiming uh, the support of Afak. This is actually an introduction to Afak. If today I am to speak of Arab culture and um, the support by Afak of um, Arab artists, it's to share with you a matter that AFAQ needs to pride itself um, with. As of 2007 up to today, many changes have occurred in the Arab world, changes that we have witnessed, some of which are excellent, others are believed um, to um, be catastrophic and daunting in the Arab world. So whether this is positive. We do not know whether the Arab Spring that many are now calling the uh, Arab Storm or the Arab Fall um, was positive or not. Nevertheless, uh, we needed changes um, on the cultural as well as on the political levels. I um, and in many of the field studies that we are conducting in Arab um, capitals where changes have occurred and where political changes have taken place, uh, followed by uh, socio-cultural changes, I believe that um, what's taking place, and since we are working with culture, we were capable of witnessing changes that occurred on the ground because I believe um, art is the, the most eloquent indicator of political changes in terms of the right uh, to expression, the uh, freedom to express yourself in terms of a specific art, um, uh, to have uh, graffitis, to have art expressed um, in the street, to have the opportunity not only to have art for the sake of art, but uh, to have as well art uh, that is um, um, focusing on a political um, during the past three or four years, many changes have changed. Many changes have occurred in the Arab world. Syria changes, and Syrian culture and Syrian art is part of the Arab cultures that and the expression of what is going on politically on the ground is expressed as well by Arab artists.
So will you wish me only to speak for the seven minutes now, or only to have introductions, and then in the uh, the questions will um, undoubtedly lead us to a further debate. Is that fine by you? Before we give the floor to Mrs. Rahad, she with us her ideas regarding uh, the Syrian uh, support, I will ask um, the audience uh, from the outside and the inside um, some peace and quiet so that we can enjoy the debate. Um, thank you. Mrs. Rana, you have the floor. Good evening. My name is uh, Rahad Mardini. I am a civil engineer from Syria, Damascus. I have an idea of art uh, science, which is actually um, a new idea to be born in the Middle East. It started in 2012. It was a spontaneous idea. So once again, um, I would like to thank Reem and Shark for the opportunity to speak of a project and to highlight um, the role of um, Syrian artists at a time of conflicts. Um, my name is Rahad Mardini. I am a Syrian engineer from Damascus. I started um, the project Art Science, um, which is an initiative, um, a pioneer initiative in the Middle East. We provide um, art residencies uh, for um, Syrian artists, and we give them a space to work. In addition to um, some activities, and we try as well to provide them financial. The idea behind the project is uh, to have artists um, feel safe. The safety that he lacks in view of the current uh, circumstances, and to give him as well a space to express himself. And the space of expression is the most important thing in art because by the end of the day, we live on bread. Art is very important. It, um, is actually what helps us survive um, the catastrophes and the hideous um, moments that we are going through in view of uh, the current events in Syria. So this project has so far hosted over 40 uh, artists. Uh, every month it hosts uh, new artists. We have um, exhibited their products during uh, art exhibits. Uh, 10 exhibits and uh, abroad four exhibits. We had one in Washington in May. We had one in Berlin in uh, March. In Jordan, we had one in February. And finally, in Kuwait in September. This was actually a gateway to um, exhibiting um, Syrian art because art um, is not per se or does not exist per se. It is very important. And um, after art, there is, of course, a moral message that um, the artist um, needs to exhibit. And the artist is the one that uh, determines the line or the thread between what's ethical and what's non-ethical. This is uh, actually the mission of the artist. It is the conscious um, of uh, society, all uh, artists. Um, Older and carry the miseries and the catastrophes of society. They have suffered, but they express this sadness and this misery by means of their art, which could help um, remedy the errors and mistakes. What Dar al um, or the art science in Alay has done is that it enabled artists to actually communicate with other um, institutions to exhibit uh, their uh, pieces of work or to actually um, complete their studies um, because in view of the current circumstances, many had to leave, many had to stop their studies, many uh, lost uh, their uh, houses, their family members, and their nation. And what's left for them is their capacities, their skills. And they have 
who um, had to seek refuge in a different uh, country, uh, and this refuge is something that they uh, do, that they dislike. They are artists, similarly to any they believe in art, they believe in the message and the vocation of art, however the circumstances have led them into um, finding themselves in uh, this uh, situation. By means of the art science, we were capable of helping uh, many uh, to have um, art exhibits uh, that are joined, uh, be it individual or not. Um, we have some names. We have, for example, Rabia Kiwan, we have Riba Akkad, we have Thro, we have Khalid al Mushi. All those are the names of um, artists uh, who had um, um, exhibitions in the Lebanese galleries. We helped some to continue um, career outside the wood to have um, a scholarship in Vienna and uh, now he is exhibiting in ASIL and we hosted um, him in um, January 2013, in 2012, she rectifies. Uh, he and we have many other examples to share with you regarding uh, those accomplishments. Uh, we had as well a documentary including 13 um, artists, their um, life testimonies, how their life um, was affected as a result of their stay in LA, uh, what are their feelings, and we have exhibited many of their art, and this uh, documentary is now um, um, produced um, in the States. Um, three universities have asked them uh, to uh, broadcast the documentary. We have NYU, which is a main university in New York, and um, currently we are preparing a book that uh, involves um, and includes um, all the art that is produced by artists uh, who um, went to LA, um, as well as uh, the different types of art that we hosted. As mentioned by Rasham, um, we have uh, dancing, we have um, sculpture, we have photography, theater, we had um, partnerships with many inst institutions, um, such as Aparta Productions, who are now um, uh, working on interactive theater with women. And of course, uh, we always have a problem, which is funding. We always experience difficulties when we have our program. We are never sure and confident that we will have the support or enough support um, or that will be capable of providing enough support to artists. AFAC helped us work last year, and the British Council as well helped us produce the documentary, and now we have submitted applications, and we are still waiting for the answer. Thank you, um, Mrs. Um, Rasha Salah, for your, um, uh, thank you, Mrs. Rahat Mardini, for your presentation. And we will now listen to Mr. Roger Asaf. I do not have much to say about the topic. Maybe I can say things regarding the topic. It's very difficult for someone in to express the confusion. I have questions. And my questions are more numerous um, than the practical possibilities. The Syrian culture, what does it mean? Where does it stand today in view of the current circumstances? The same goes for the Lebanese, um, uh, Palest or Palestinian or Egyptian cultures, or for the Iraqi culture. What is the relationship between culture, reality, and arts? On what grounds, on the basis of what idea can we choose our production and to support it with our capacities as we lack funding? I can give you the experience of Munam Namat to explain. Munam Namat and some of was actually an experience 
that started out of our enthusiasm for the Syrian and um, in view of our relationship with Syrian artists. So we suggested that uh, the place uh, that we run or uh, that um, uh, which uh, technique we map to be available to Syrian artists who are in Lebanon and who are actually living in Lebanon as a result of the uh, circumstances. We gathered around the Syrian artists that we know, those who work in the theater, in the drawing, in painting, in music. Um, and um, we had them gather in the Sunflower um, Center. And we told them, consider this as a space, as a space in time to express yourselves, to say what you feel. But the main purpose behind this activity is actually twofold. First, to create or to have some kind of solidarity between Syrian artists and Syrians who are the Syrian grassroots who are available and living in Lebanon. And second, to have a rising relationship between Syrian artists and um, Lebanese um, artists and uh, grassroots. Unfortunately, both objectives were not a success. Though we had the experience, um, many acclaimed it, many were happy to see it. And back then, it was very important to to have um, Lebanese artists actually um, embrace the Syrian revolution. Where did we fail? The failures. First, the lack of solidarity between Syrian artists themselves. They were supposed to run the show. They were supposed to be the designers. They were supposed to implement the project. And we were supposed to simply to help them in terms of providing them with the place, with the media, and um, uh, with any other means that could be possible. Syrian artists wanted to work each on his or her own project without actually showing interest in the other projects that were uh, broadcasted during the show. We did not as well um, obtain the support of Lebanese artists. I would have wanted to have meetings, some discussions um, held around those topics uh, to raise the issue. The issue that I'm trying to raise today, which is the relationship between art and reality. This did not happen. Each and every one showed interest in his or her own project um, to the extent uh, that Syrian artists did not attend the shows um, given by other uh, Syrian artists. And when? The process was not a success, and when it did not produce um, cooperation and dialogue between Lebanese um, and uh, Syrian artists, and I had uh, as well sent out an invitation to uh, Palestinian artists in Lebanon, and when this communication did not take place, when and I tried to understand why. Now, as a result of this uh, very pessimistic um, picture, I can talk about um, a very general topic in order to discuss um, a very brief uh, issue uh, or a very brief um, message that I would like to convey to people. You know better to what extent the Islamic movement uh, uprising has actually masked um, the Syrian revolution. It stole it at a time where the Syrian revolution was um, skyrocketing or developing or was at its best, um, the Syrian revolution at the same time must be Palestinian cause. What happened in Gaza 
or the situation that took place in Gaza, which is actually second rate of Arab international interests, despite how important it is, which could uh, open many things. This could be outside today's discussion that is related to culture first. No, it is related to culture. The topic of Gaza was masked. It is masking the Palestinian cause because Israel negotiate over Gaza. This means that you should forget about Palestine. The same goes for uh, what happened in Tunisia and in Egypt. The main problem is the lack of um, solidarity or a sound solidarity between artists and Arab um, revolutionaries who would actually change the relationship between culture and um, the revolution. And this leads us to something that's very important. We stand before a picture that you need to understand. Today, the only project that is um, raised on the Arab world um, in order to change the spectrum and which could actually mobilize um, the Arab world is actually the Islamic State project, um, which is uh, carrying um, a change a full-fledged change, and that is carrying ideas that are entrenched in uh, the conscience of the Arab state. I would like to ask Mrs. to support change um, the lack of solidarity among Syrians. I do not know how, but I could raise the issue. Uh, were it not for of solidarity between Lebanese and Syrians, between Syrians themselves, between Syrians, Lebanese, and the Palestinians, and whether the Arab cause per se, and even if uh, this uh, solidarity is weak, is fragile, so if you do not have solidarity, you cannot um, hope for anything that could be valuable in view of the reality that the Arab grassroots the Arab population is not willing to adopt our ideas, our art, our um, theater, our work. However, the donors are willing to fund, and there are many means of funding. And you know how this mechanism can function so that artists and uh, artists can find the financial support um, to their activities. And once again, if we do not think in this um, dimensions, and here, of course, we have Palestinians and Lebanese. So, is the picture of Palestine present in our mind? So, this is the only topic that could play a positive role in Arab culture because. On the contrary of the Islamic State project could actually unify the minds, unify questions, unify efforts, um, unify ideas, art um, towards um, giving a better hope for the Arab society, which means that there is a chance uh, to unify. Russia, can AFAQ um, play a role? And what is the role of AFAQ um, in terms of uh, solidarity, in terms of um, um, supporting the Arab world, because you said that, that you support Arabs and not only Palestinians and Syrians. Where do you stand? Once again, I would like to say that I share the concern voiced out by Mr. Roger Asaf. And I do understand the concern and the frustration he is expressing. Unfortunately, today, we cannot get um, artists out of their societies, and therefore, we cannot have them shoulder responsibilities and burdens that um, exceed their capacities. So we want them today to be a situation that together the Arabs. Unfortunately, um, artists are 
the fruit of their society. They are the sons of society. They are suffering from poverty, from political oppression, from uh, a political pressure and social pressure, pressure which means, um, and apologies in advance, but I believe that um, it's as if we are pretending that uh, artists are superior to others. They are not superior, but they have a different way of expressing the problems they are uh, facing or that their societies are um, facing. So we shall not have them shoulder um, more responsibilities than they could. Artists say that we have turned the page of our societies and we are looking at things from a different perspective. This is why I totally agree with you, Mr. Roger. You are asking that in the event of support, uh, the support needs to be um, available among those um, artists. But however, if they are not uh, supported by institutions, by their ministries, uh, this means that they will be similarly to any other um, institutions, such as, uh, for example, the um, left-wing movements um, or the extremist movements, and similarly to any um, uh, movement that, that tries as much as possible to um, face um, the epidemies that are uh, ravaging the Arab world. We do not want to have the Syrian, Lebanese, and Palestinian be uh, accused of their lack of communication. I had an excellent opportunity to actually visit many of the Arab um, uh, cities and capitals that have um, seen changes. Um, so I believe uh, that there is a problem in terms of support. Um, so um, they need to actually contribute to a more collective um, piece of art and the only place where I felt that this is possible is actually in Tunisia with being uh, biased but uh, Tunisia was actually a country where I felt people could actually contribute to um, the um, pro productions of others however after the revolution they are coming back to uh, their own, uh, to, to, to themselves. Today, a FARC cannot alone make changes. We are only talking about a few artists. We have many persons who are supporting Arab states. We have Al Maurid Al Thaqafi, which persons uh, who are supporting uh, the establishments the establishment of um, a culture of course we support um, cultural projects but i would like to say that we can pride ourselves in afaq um, with one thing afaq did not change um, the uh, grants uh, policy or the grant distribution policy as a result um, of the political changes we um, did not accept it to go into the game or to, to play the game uh, because we have uh, some problems in uh, Libya, in Syria or in Tunisia. We did not uh, want to give uh, more support to artists in those countries. Uh, juries were, in as far as possible, um, focusing on the four criteria have and on, the, on grounds of which we uh, choose, um, a pro uh, we choose um, projects extent um, uh, they are uh, in relation with their projects, their feasibility, um, their um, artistic um, value and um, their capacity to develop um, the products that now we have. Ever since uh, Reem uh, called me, um, I'm curious to say whether or not what I told her discussed um, uh, the uh, possibility of sharing with you the AFAC project. Um, I spoke with Kathy uh, in order to look at the figures, at the statistics, and in fact, um, statistics um, of the support given to Syrian artists did not change. But what changed is that the number of um, um, scholarship applicants has increased. But uh, the number of uh, grants uh, did not uh, change as a result um, of the situation. Do we have among, our, among us um, uh, a Syrian um, artist uh, who was given a grant um, 
in terms of solidarity. We wanted to interact with them. We want, of course, to open the floor for discussion. So maybe we can give you the microphone. Mr. Khaled, he is a Syrian musician. Hello, how is everyone? First of all, allow me to thank you for the opportunity. It's a moment created um, um, long ago. Always in the events we used uh, to finish, uh, thank uh, the audience, but never thank Afak, because we believe that they are um, people who are in solidarity with us. I'm not only talking about uh, Russia, but I'm talking about the whole staff. Working with them was related to how we can share an experience we have and to produce it despite um, the pressure. The idea that we are human and to say that we are present, we are doing X, Y, or Z. We have the project called Tanjar al-Daghut. It's an old project that started in the album um, was released in 2000, but a very small release. It wasn't much. And we always hope to have um, a moral more than a financial support. Before support, you said that Tanjar uh, al was a project uh, that went ahead of um, the revolution, but I believe that the support for uh, the project increased uh, following uh, the, um, the revolution. Yes, when we moved to Beirut, we, we needed support in order to um, release it. To release, um, uh, we had uh, the first support from Mrs. Rahel Mardini, who supported us in order to try and have demos and submit them to AFAQ to show them that we have a specific level of music and that we are musicians. We are not here trying to um, copycat something that's imported. We had two demos. We um, submitted them to uh, AFAQ, and AFAQ gave us uh, the budget of $10,000. Yet, but this support, uh, this uh, funding, how did it affect you as individuals and as musicians? It did affect us because we had a who was capable of helping us in order to run um, uh, the whole show. And this person was helping us, and the presence of helped us. He's Lebanese. His name is Raid al Khazm. And everyone, everybody surrounding us um, helped us. So we had um, psychological support. Financial support was available as well. And uh, linking uh, people or bringing them together was as well available. However, the state of fear is um, the one that is um, actually misleading. So we wanted uh, to be present and um, at this time, it's very important to have uh, musicians who are expressing themselves, expressing um, uh, the activities that we have. This is how we express ourselves. We are uh, people who uh, play drums, electric guitar, and at the same time, we use music in order to continue our lives. So we are happy to have Afaka give you um, this um, grant. Among uh, the audience, maybe we have organizations or representatives or organizations. AFAQ has been on the show since uh, 2007, and it, uh, roads, uh, it uh, doors were open to Syrians. Maybe Syrians didn't know about it. Um, are there any organizations that have started supporting uh, Syrian, uh, and, uh, Syrian artists? Um, would uh, anyone like or from in, uh, an organization who has an experience um, would like to share with us? Mrs. Amira? The mic is on its way. Good evening. First of all, I am proud to say that uh, we were given as well a grant from AFAQ. Our project is actually um, a movie that was my sister. And I'm proud to say that the project took place after the revolution. 
it discusses uh, the um, human situation or any, of any Syrian, be it uh, deprivation from um, basic needs, um, deprivation from accommodation, from housing. But the project was not given the grant because it's Syrian, and we heard uh, the review from AFAQ. It was as a result of its uh, creativity and its autistic value. With regards to uh, solidarity, not, were we not given the um, grant from AFAQ, it would have been impossible to shoot in Lebanon because currently it's in Syria. We um, now we'll have to move to Syria for some shooting, and I believe that this will create some solidarity um, between producers and cinematographers. And this, I hope, will create some support. This support will assist us as Syrians and will have a positive impact on us as Syrians. Thank you, Amira. Do we have someone from an organization that is supporting Syrians? and the Syrian artists. Um, of course, uh, we thank Afak, and we know it, but um, it would be interesting as well to listen to uh, other expertise. Maybe someone else would like to share ideas with us?
وكمان بدي احكي بالنسبه للاخ اللي حكى هون انه في طلبات كثير ونحن كنا بنقدم هيدا الدعم الصغير للفنانين بيجينا فوق ال 100 طلب فنحن لحتى نقدر نساعد هيك فنانين لازم يكون في مؤسسات كبيره مثل افا او الموارد الثقافي او اي حدا ثاني يدعمنا بس نحن لما بنروح بنقدم لهم بيقولوا لنا والله السنه رح ندعم المناطق المهمشه او رح ندعم تونس ومصر وما في لا سوريا طيب ليه لا لازم يزيدوا مش افا افا بجنن ما انا انا بساعد خالد بشهد لهم كاتي وزينه ورشه تعامل رائع معهم عن جد بيرجعوا الواحد ثقته بالمجال الثقافي لانه بالاخير المجال الثقافي هو ما هو مضاربه مصالح يعني تجاره ما بنقدر نحن مؤسسه وحيده توقف لوحدها، لازم المؤسسات يعملوا شراكات ويتضامنوا ويعتبروها هي منا منافسه، بالعكس هي تضامن لحتى نحن نقدر نحقق شيء اخير. مداخله الاستاذ اسامه كانت كثير مهمه تفصل ما بين التمويل والدعم، فانا سؤالي للاستاذ رجاء كيف ممكن ندعم فكره استراتيجيه مستر اسامه was very important because um, uh, he uh, on the thin uh, thread between support and solidarity. Mrs. Rahad said that uh, it's very important to help them in the drafting of um, the proposal, but he spoke about um, stability in the state. What is uh, the capacity? What are the capacities available to Lebanese or non-Lebanese institutions in terms of providing support and not only funding? What do you mean by support? Do you mean uh, money? No, no, it's the contrary. Support is support. The support supports. What does it support? It supports something that exists, that is valuable, and that deserves to be supported. The problem, and the problem is uh, with the um, world system that is imposing upon us this way of working. The support goes to the artist and goes uh, to a piece of art. It doesn't go to something that requires support. There is a large um, difference, and this has changed in the 90s. The 90s have changed the criteria and the cultural life. This is how we have capital that is controlling um, the cultural production, and not only art that is emanating need from the passion from the things that it designates um, as a result of which it is given support um, from the people who had money, who had capacities, who ha and who were institutions, and the duty of which is to provide support and not to select um, um, to, to support. Now, if this is the system, if this is um, what needs to be implemented, then I suggest that in addition to uh, this um, implementation of grants, um, which will stop one day because uh, the funding will stop uh, sooner or later. So in the meantime, and during this period of time during which we have grants and we have uh, this kind of support system to institutions and uh, to artists to think that in addition to the production of uh, pieces of art, we can have um, an additional activity that is um, creating a relationship with the audience, a relationship among uh, artists, and more importantly, among uh, different Arab regions. So this initiative will come not only artists, because apparently artists um, are in need or um, cannot do this, so it must come from outside um, the art world. If we have a donor that is um, conscious uh, of this need, then maybe it could devote part of its part of its funding to the creation and establishment of similar activities um, that are not related. Um, in the art science. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Roger. Unfortunately, 
we are running late. Maybe one minute for Mrs. Rasha and for Mr. Mrs. Rahad to conclude. In terms of solidarity, we have the exhibition of Mr. Sarni Kiwan on Saturday at 2 p.m. in Ale. We call upon you to support us, to attend. We have music, and we have a an ambiance of culture and of art. And this is our small contribution to Syrian culture. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Rasha. A kind reminder, if I may, role as Arab artists or as activists, we must not forget that we are supposed to lobby the ministers of culture. What you are saying is actually the role of ministers of ministries of culture and not of local institutions. Local institutions do not have the capacity to network, and you cannot establish activities, whereas the budget that you are receiving is barely enough to support artists in the Arab world and abroad. What is the role of the ministry and how can the Ministry of uh, Culture in Damascus? We're not talking about Damascus now. We, uh, it could uh, apply to Egypt, Jordan, to Tunisia. We have a law that prohibits um, charity organizations and cultural organizations uh, to uh, seek funding from abroad. We do hope that this will not happen here. Unfortunately, the time that we had um, has ended. We can continue our dialogue, but we will have to uh, cut off translation. And uh, the uh, uh, the uh, Western thank um, Patrick from Happy Nation, who have uh, produced um, and Galwa uh, for her uh, translation from Arabic into English. And uh, we would like to thank you. Um, we would like to thank the audience. And most importantly. We would like to thank uh, Mizian Cafe, uh, Mansour, Abu Hani for your support. And hopefully, we look forward to meeting you next week in a debate revolving around Syrian culture in times of conflict. Of course, details are available on our Facebook page called Syrian culture in times of conflict. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to thank you for following us and have a good evening.